Hey everybody, I'm the Frosty Four, and welcome back to Life is Strange. Today we're going to start episode four. In the last episode, we went back in time to save Chloe's father from dying in the accident that ruined Chloe's life, apparently. And when we went back to go see Chloe at her house, she was quadriplegic. She had like a tracheotomy, and she was seat belted to a wheelchair. She was crazy. So let's see. Let's just see. Okay, so we're on the beach. I see a little crab. A little crab. It's kind of interesting that the birds have been dying, the fish have been dying apparently, and there were three whales that washed up on the beach. Uh, that's kind of disturbing, along with all the weird weather with the snow, with the tornado, um, the eclipse. Oh, there's some bikes here. I can't wait to see what happened to Chloe. Why is she quadriplegic? What happened to her? Because from the pictures that got changed, it looked like she grew up fine with a happy childhood because her dad was there. And now, I mean, she still looked happy when I saw her in the wheelchair, but it it pains me. I want to I wanna make it clear. I have nothing against, um, wow, that's a lot of fucking whales. I have nothing against people with disabilities, but the idea that uh, Max caused Chloe to be quadriplegic, that's what bothers me. I, I never want to be the cause of somebody dis somebody's disability. That really bothered me. Okay, so there's Max with Chloe on the beach. Going to see the dead whales. Looks like they were stabbed or something. It's probably because the birds have been pecking at them and trying to eat them. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max, so pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. So she got in a car wreck. Oh my god, tell me you don't blame him. Let's talk about the accident. That should cheer her up. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap, and, and that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. What missing girl? What, what missing girl? I don't know her name. I just read about it in the news. I feel bad for her family. This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. It might be. 
It might be, but... I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. That's good. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. <laughs> oh, she's different. Take it. Well, she's not like... You know, she's not like a rough around the edges kid like she used to be, so... That's kind of funny though, she's like, hella? I don't like that word. Whereas before, Max is the one who picked it up from Chloe. Okay, well that was a heartwarming conversation about... So... Either way, Max is still upset that uh, Chloe... Or, th or Chloe's still upset that Max never came to see her after she moved to Seattle. Maybe Max can go back in time and not move to Seattle, and then maybe Chloe won't hate her. But then Max will have... will have lobster hands or something. I don't know. Okay, so we're back at Chloe's house. It's kind of overcast. Yeah, her room is, uh... It's a pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive. When you don't even have to be. Trust me. I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? What, you don't want some fucking beer in a in a green bottle? Do I have to go out? Oh, make a wish. Bathroom or gas mask optional. She must uh, get some crazy shit going. Okay, so water. Oh, must be in here. Well, at least I never broke her snow globe. Where do I get the water from? It's not letting... Do I have to get it from the bathroom? Okay. Well, it wasn't letting me leave the bedroom. Okay, so it must be in here. Oh, there's the cup. Sorry. Sorry, Chloe. Not trying to parch you, honey. Drink up, buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, well, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. Seems like yesterday. To huh. me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god. We covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. That's so sad, dude. She's so lonely now. You have me. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I blunt. wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. 
And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. No? That's what my parents are for. Are you lonely? I know this is a dumb question, but... Are you lonely here? Yes, dumb question. I don't mind being alone. I can't exactly go party like a rock star, though. Or get in 18 trouble with the folks. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and Dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Now kiss me. Um... Okay, so I gotta go turn a movie on. Uh, DVD player. So here's the DVD player. Now I just need to find the DVD. Okay. Search. Ah, here's the DVD. Put that shit in there. We're gonna have a blast and rock and good time. I've never even seen Blade Runner. Blade Runner. Blaine Rudder, get out of here. Is she asleep yet? Well, that was depressing as fuck. Chloe's still awake, or is she just not waking up? Jeez. <coughs> Max, I need water. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Deckard? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Thanks. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again, it meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's... Uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. A morphine injector? That's hardcore. 
All right, let's see what the rest of the house looks like. Is it any different? I definitely have to take a third job. Wait, 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 wait! Isn't that the garage? They put her in the garage. Oh, Victoria. Ugh. Save me a bowl. Max, were you cool? Just wanted to make sure since you walked away so fast, Nathan was worried too. <laughs> if you want to talk, hit me up, okay? Love you, Max. If you're mad, just tell me, okay? Silence. If you want to talk, my door's open. Love you. Okay. What's up, William? Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. It's been so five years. Um. Chloe. Oh, she needs her fucking morphine. I don't know morphine. how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. Is she mad at me? Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed, but she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. I need to get to the care room. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but I... Uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But... But we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? William, stop. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Oh, hey. Okay, I'm not... Just gonna... shoot me now. Just shoot me now, yeah. We just saved you from dying. Please don't die. Okay, so I guess I need to go up here... I can't walk upstairs by myself. Forgot about that. Now I need to figure out. So this is where Chloe's room used to be. What's in here now? Nothing. Wow. Nothing. What's this? A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Yeah, that'd be kind of weird if it actually meant anything. At least we never had to hide from step douche. Yeah, that's because there is no step douche. Sit. A letter? It's probably from the insurance. I never heard much about William's brother. Hi, Bill. Sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work has been piling up and I'm being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. You have to go where the work is these days. I wish I could have sent you a bigger check, but you know the story. Money is nobody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang in there, Billy. Your brother, Aaron. Okay. Toys? Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. But I can't, right? Okay, nice. Crutches? That's interesting. Did she used to be able to walk? They bought crutches for Chloe. Hoping she might walk again. That's so sad. I guess you don't really come back from quadriplegia. What's this? Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Dear Joyce, thank you for keeping me updated on Chloe's condition. I can only imagine the struggle you and William are going through. I am so sorry that I can't help you with a loan at this time. Like everybody else, I'm underwater with my own medical bills. Please give Chloe a, a hug and my best wishes. Love, Aunt Dorothy. That is so sad. They're like asking their family for money, and everybody's like, dude, we're broke too. I'm sorry. 
Ah, uh, okay. What's over here? That's the bathroom. I wonder if I need to find that morphine injector. I guess I need to turn the light on, huh? Let's see. Nothing here. Okay. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Well, either way, she's sucked on something, isn't she? At least now she actually that needs thing it. That looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Okay, let's go get Chloe her pain meds so she doesn't have to suffer. Just before we do, though, I want to go poke in here. The bedroom looks empty. Oh, Max, empty. it is so nice to have you around. We go see what uh, Joyce is doing. Ashtray. Oh well. Speak. Good morning, Max. Ah, oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years, after the accident. Awkward. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Oh, she sounds so tired. Wonder if she still works at the diner. Wonder what William does for a living. All right, I'm coming, Chloe. I got your medicine, babe. It's so quiet in this house. It's kind of disturbing. Nobody's laughing, nobody's making pancakes. I like how she has a oh a mouth controlled joystick. I've seen those before. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um okay, but Get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Can I use one of those photos to save Chloe from this? Because I want to get out of this situation as fast as possible. I want to see if there's something I can do to go back in time and keep this from happening. But I have a feeling that uh, no matter what I do, somebody's going to be suffering. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god, look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> My dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. She keeps looking at me. I kind of feel like the reason why she's so upset about me being away for so long is because she loved me, or Max anyway. And I don't know. She was just she was kind of looking at looking at Max kind of funny last night when they're oh, watching the movie. Man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. 
My respiratory system is failing, and uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. She's asking me to kill her, isn't she? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. They're at Chloe just asked me to kill her by overdosing her on morphine. Do I accept, refuse, or say I don't know? I, I feel like I should say accept because one, she doesn't deserve to suffer. Two, she's of sound mind. If she wants to end her life, then I feel like she should be allowed to. And three, I also feel like I should be able to use that Polaroid in the picture album to take her from this so this doesn't even have to happen. But right now, I'm going to let Chloe die. Chloe, I'll just drift asleep, dreaming of us here together. Forever. I've been waiting five years for you to come kill me with morphine. That is so sad. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. No. Sooner than you think. You won't. I'll see you in another future where you have blue hair. God, this game just got heavy. Yep, let's uh I'm focus sorry. on that picture. So we have to kill William. We have to. <sighs> that is so Chloe's going to be miserable. William's going to be dead. But we have to do it. Oh. There we go. Damn it! Oh my god. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Yes, it is. That's a very important picture. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar! You mean your college fund? Keys, Aha! You can't hide from me forever. God. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous wait, 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 wait. surprise with chocolate. What if I get stuck here? Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. Yeah. That makes all of us. I just killed William. So that Chloe Max be you're being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. 
I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. And then she moves to Seattle. And Chloe is going to resent her for it all over again. Goodbye, William. Back to a shitty future with David. Who's still a creep. I wonder if we were able to change anything in the before world for the positive by telling Chloe that. What's the, oh, the car accident. What is that? Ah, yeah. Did she stay there instead of moving to Seattle? It's kind of the impression I got, but we'll see. Oh no, this is back to just back to where it was. Okay. Chloe, you're alive. Yes. Oh yeah, now you suddenly want to kiss me? You had your chance. I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. Tell her what happened! You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Tell her what happened! Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Tell Welcome her. Welcome back to the real world, Max. Of course, space, get up. Get up. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. All right, all right, all right. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. Mm -hmm. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Darkroom. Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. Yes, that's the solution. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which you I can't know. waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. <sighs> Don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of step crack. He's not going to be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and- I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. How can you mess up the past from the future? <sighs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. So, Chloe was miserable. Either way, she was still miserable, and um, so we let her die in peace, and then we went ahead and took the photo, went back to the past, 
killed William. I'm sorry, William. And now we have to go ahead and unravel the puzzles that we already had to solve with uh, Frank, Rachel, uh, Kay, and David. So, drop me a note in the comments. Let me know what you think about this episode. If you thought it was awesome... Lost in all this shit. <laughs> please hit like and subscribe for more videos from me. And I'll chill with you next time. But until then, stay frosty. Yep, that's a piece of chocolate, right? Candle. Hey, the attic key. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep.